All right, guys, check it out. Look at this beautiful snake right here. This is the first snake of our trip, and I could not be more pleased. Look at this. Now this, as you can probably tell, is a corn snake, one of the coolest rat snake species that we have here in North Carolina. Now I have only seen, I think, two wild corn snakes before today. Both of them were also at the coast. They seem to, to do better here, at least be more abundant maybe than other parts of the state. But my gosh, look at the absolutely amazing orange patterning on the dorsal half of the snake. And then the belly, of course, has that really nice, let's see if we can get them to show it, really nice white and black checkerboard patterning. And as you can see, these are very, very docile snakes. These are not defensive whatsoever, even when handled. And so obviously there's no reason to fear them. They're also non-venomous. And as rat snakes, you can probably guess from the name, they are constrictors that feed primarily on rodents, um, but they're pretty opportunistic. So they'll take other prey, um, like amphibians, lizards, or maybe smaller snakes or something like that, if they got the chance. It is always so cool to see corn snakes in the wild because they're such common pets. And I think many people don't know that these are a native snake that just exists here in North Carolina, like any of our other species, like black rats or king snakes. This is such a beautiful animal. Really fun to see these and such an amazing first snake of the trip. That makes the trip for me right there. If we saw nothing else today, this is definitely an absolutely amazing animal to see in the wild. And we'll go ahead and get it right back in the habitat. These open woodlands are a fire-maintained ecosystem known as longleaf pine savanna, and this used to be one of the most common habitat types found in the state of North Carolina. However, because the longleaf pine tree requires fire to germinate properly, decades of fire suppression have greatly reduced the amount of longleaf pine that's found in our state. And as the habitat has shrunk, so have populations of rare and now endangered reptiles and amphibians. One of these now rare reptiles is a tiny snake which can only be found in the coastal plains of North and South Carolina and can be quite difficult to spot in the wild. All right, everyone, look at this absolutely amazing snake right here. This is the Carolina pygmy rattlesnake, one of three rattlesnake species found in North Carolina and the smallest rattlesnake species other than its cousin, the dusky pygmy rattlesnake in the world. Now I've actually featured this species on my channel before. We found a really brightly colored individual on the road at night and that was a ton of fun. But it's a totally different experience being able to observe one in its natural habitat like this. And you can really see while it's coiled up kind of out here in this recently burned ecosystem that its coloration is perfectly designed to blend in with the bark and the pine litter and even to some degree the charred bits of plant matter that are scattered all around it. Now, pygmy rattlesnakes are ambush predators. What they'll do to hunt is actually what it's doing right now. They will sit motionless for hours and wait for something to walk by. And so the majority of this snake's diet is most likely lizards like skinks and like race runners that are sharing this habitat with it. They do have heat sensitive pits like other vipers that allow them to detect the infrared signatures of warm blooded prey items like mammals. Now, ecologically, pygmy rattlesnakes are pretty unique. Like I said, they are the smallest rattlesnakes in the world, and so there really aren't any other vipers at this size out here in these ecosystems. These are mid-tier consumers, so they're eating all those kind of lizards, amphibians, and small mammals, but a pygmy rattlesnake could also easily fall prey to a larger snake, especially something like a king snake, which are found out in these longleaf pine savannas, would not pass up the opportunity to prey on a pygmy rattlesnake. Now, unfortunately, as the longleaf pine savanna that these snakes love has disappeared, these snakes have also declined in population severely, and they're currently listed as a species of special concern here in North Carolina. They have no federal listing status yet, but if populations continue to dwindle, these rattlesnakes may very well become threatened or endangered. What an absolute treat it was to see this animal in the wild in its natural habitat like this. I actually flipped it from under this piece of bark and so we'll just set the bark right back on top and let this animal continue about its day. Thanks friend. I'll see you on the next adventure, but until then, stay safe and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.